most of us have come across these dilemmas in life so these are choices or decisions which we need to make uh, in our day to day lives uh, some of these while may be pretty trivial and insignificant in their consequences but some of these decisions like a career or the city that we want to settle in or the job are pretty important and significant decisions which we all need to make uh, sometime or the other in our lives so definitely decision making is one of the very very important skills that uh, we all need to inculcate in ourselves while growing up to make life much easier and bearable decision making as a process is something which most of us do not get to do individually from the very beginning uh, as children uh, these decisions are mostly made by uh, the people around us uh, for some of us we might have the chance to participate uh, in the process and uh, be able to express how we think or feel about something but then for the others it is just made by the people around Uh, so in that case uh, when we have to make these decisions on our own uh, it can become even more challenging and definitely uh, the consequences of the decision has a very significant impact on ourselves um, if we make a decision the outcome of which uh, turns out to be good and fruitful and it serves the purpose then definitely it gives us confidence uh, it gives a boost to our self esteem we feel empowered and it contributes positively to our development but on the other hand if the outcome of the decisions that we make uh, are not very uh, fruitful and if they don't turn out to be good then that can be a setback uh, to us as well so it's very important to keep in mind that this is a skill which we really need to work on so that we make the best out of our decisions and not only that uh, we also are able to ensure that decision making as a skill contributes positively to our growth and development a few things to keep in mind for decision making uh, firstly we need to be very clear about our priorities and goals uh, so a lot of times we are ourselves confused about what would be the best for us and that can lead us to make bad decisions so it's very important to reflect and figure out what we want uh, secondly not take inputs from too many different sources for making a decision so for example if i have to choose between two jobs and i want to gather some information about both of these uh, which will help me to uh, make a decision it's best that i seek that information from people who have had a first hand experience of the job and not go and ask uh, every other person because everyone is going to come with their own different inputs and perspectives and that can be really confusing uh thirdly uh whatever i decide whichever path i choose it's important to remember that everything is going to come with its own pros and cons so for example if i have chosen to take up science for my higher studies i need to remember that everything every aspect of the discipline will not be easy or enjoyable for me but what i need to uh figure out that do i mostly like it does it have mostly positive uh, impact on me and that is important but everything about whatever we decide whichever path or uh, whichever choice that we make is not going to be uh, appealing to us and finally it's uh, very important to know that uh, building good decision making skills and uh, definitely depends on learning from decisions for which the outcome has not turned out well so for every decision that we make the outcomes are not going to turn out uh, well uh, and it's important that we do not let the negative outcomes restrict us from uh, taking the initiative to make more decisions to decide for ourselves autonomously uh, we should take uh, the bad outcome as a learning experience learn from it and then implement uh, whatever we have learned 
uh, to the decisions that we uh, make in future. Uh, so yes, uh, these are the few things uh, which contributes to our decision making skills and makes us able to uh, successfully make good decisions.